Welcome everyone! I am Kevin. And I'm Rachel. And this is Shelf Life, a podcast where brother and sister team go through all things pop culture in every genre, be that movies, TVs, books, sports entertainment, comics, games, and we determine whether or not those things belong on your shelf, both digital and physical. Well, that's what I usually would say. But that is not what we are doing here today, Rachel. We are here to do the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. That's right, folks. It is that time of year again where hopefully a lot of you at home are doing your fantasy football drafting. For those that are not from the United States, you can still participate in fantasy football because, I mean, we know plenty of people, Rachel, that have absolutely no idea what they're doing with fantasy football, and sometimes they win the leagues. Had that several times in our past. What we are going to do here is a little bit different than what you might be doing if you uh, happen to put in your podcast search app fantasy draft because your fantasy draft is coming up this weekend and you want to know whether or not you should take Justin Jefferson or Cooper Cup. Instead, what we do here at Shelf Life is we take the characters from our previous episodes, from the previous volume of episodes, and we draft them in a special fantasy scenario that we are going to spin for and we are going to prepare a team, I guess you'd call it a team. In most cases, it's kind of a team. A team of the characters from the various episodes to win, I guess, like to be the best like objective of what we're ever trying to do with, with the wheel. I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's probably like the best team for that situation. Right, exactly. So it's not necessarily a fantasy football team, although that is on the wheel, but it is going to be in some sort of realm to deal with a fantasy draft of sorts because Rachel and I enjoy drafting. We have played fantasy football for right how you've played for like 15 years, right? No. 14? This might be your 14th season. It can't be. So we've been playing for quite a long time. So we've we've mastered, of course, Rachel being a, a, a champion once again under under controversial circumstances. It's not my fault. I didn't say that I was <laughs> going to do it that way. I think I would have won either way. I think you would have won either way. We are going to see if we can continue our path of doing the fantasy drafts in a different, a little bit of fun manner, a kooky manner, as we do things here on Shelf Life. And we like to tie in things with the different things that we enjoy, which is, of course, fantasy football and drafting. Last year, we did the first annual fantasy draft. Rachel, what did we do last year? We were in a zombie apocalypse. That's right. A a very fun zombie apocalypse. Yes. So go find that episode if you haven't listened to that. It's a fun fun episode. Rachel built a team to try to rebuild the world, and I built a team to try to burn it to the ground. Pretty much. (laughs) <laughs> that was pretty much you wanted to dominate with your, my, your I was people. taking the you fight. were kind of going well I'm going to be aggressive against everybody and I was trying to make it so that we could actually survive and rebuild yeah. I was taking the fight to the zombies you were taking the fight to anybody <laughs> didn't have to be a zombie I can't I know I had Darth Maul and uh, Major Chip Hazard and others Yeah, you had bad guys on your team <laughs> so anyway we will be selecting Rachel. What will so we we had volume two came out recently. For those that are new to the show, go find the episodes in volume two. This might make you want to watch the episodes if you haven't even heard of the show or the movie or whatever. Yeah. So we have several different episodes. You know, a, a, a dozen or so. Rachel, what are the? So what are the? What are What's the, the pool? Yes, the draft pool. What's in the draft pool? What character? From what characters from what subjects are in the draft pool? That's actually the term that we should have used. Yes, draft pool. Well, it's the it's the dead pool. Yeah, it's I guess the, it, that's why that's where roster. dead pool comes from. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's on the roster? Yeah, yeah. In our in our season two, we we started off with ghost. Ghost. Which can be including the ghost character, any of those, any, any characters, of the characters from, from Ghost, oh, the main the, characters. Let, let's yes, let's, let's, in the background. let's put a let's put a little disclaimer on this. You can't like pick a character that's just in the back. Like you can't pick like the well, I guess you could pick the demons. <laughs> can you pick the demons? No, you can't Does pick the count? demons. Okay, because I I'm thinking you like, get to pick death. Right, exactly. So that's why I'm saying, like, I think it has to be, like, a character that has some substance to it. We can mm-hmm. argue about it. I picked Death last season. I'm, but I he, could, was a, could, he was a, he was a, a big character. character. 
it's so not the same. You can you can't pick like a character that's just there or in the background or is alluded to. You it, they have to have a little bit of substance. They to have them. to have at least a couple of lines. Yeah, they have to be a character because you have to defend your choice with right. some personality. You can't be like. I want Joe Blow in the blue shirt in the background. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, why would you want that guy? I don't know. He's just there. Yeah, it well, seems he like he can't just be, be there. Yeah. So that that's one. And then with any of the television shows or video games or something that might be a series, you have to base it off of what we've covered. So, like, if yes. we did season one and two, you can base it off of what you know about them from season one and two. If we've only done season one, you have to base it off of what we know about them in season right. one, etc. And if we've only done part of a season... You can't pick a character that we haven't done yet from that season. Right. Which if they haven't shown sense. up in that season yet, yeah. but they're in the show, you don't get to use them because we haven't done anything about them yet. Right. If they haven't gotten like, oh, say they, they covered. say that they get a power in later seasons, but they right. don't have it right now. You can't use that power. Yeah. You can't use so that don't power. base it off of that. You I can't, can't throw the Superman S thing and throw and put a zombie in the mirror realm for whatever he does in Superman 2. We'll get there. We'll get yeah. There. You can't so use like the like mirror insane. realm, is what he's saying. You can't use Knuckles, because Knuckles yeah, hasn't come out yet. Example. We only have Tails and Sonic. That is a much better example. Thank you. <laughs> he's an Akita. Akidna. Whatever. Akita Whatever. is a dog. <laughs> Whatever, us. Whatever. I think he should have been an Akita. We'll talk about that on Sonic 3. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm sorry. I We interrupted to, to give that well, disclaimer. Well, we started, yeah. What's the, what, are the, what are the subjects at hand? So we have Ghost, the Royal Rumble 1997. So you Lots have a lot, of characters You have a lot one. from that one? Question. Mm. Can you use the announcers? Yes, they are okay. characters. I wanted to make sure if they were on there or not. Yes. Well, they are on there. Yeah, they're I characters. see them on there. <laughs> We have a giant draft board. Shouldn't it be lists. more than 30 then? Yeah, those are the ones I could think of. I figured like you can always we're look up more. We're going to have to go through yeah. cuz now I When Ray, so we are going to we're going to take a little break after we we decide what the what the category is and flip the coin for the the who's going to go first. And then I guarantee Rachel is going to figure out all the power attributes of all of the 30 members of the Royal Rumble. Obviously. Yeah. Including yes, I'm going to go their, back to the video game and I'm going to see what they tell me. <laughs> Royal Rumble from 1997. Yes, very so specific. So only what they could do what then. What they could do and what who they, they like, were If they were heels or not. Prior, yes. All of those types of things. Right. Then we have The Office. Yep. Season, season one. one. Mm -hmm. Very important. So only the characters from season one. Which is most of them already. Yeah, but... But, but you don't know everything about them yet. Right. They haven't, yeah, they haven't developed yet. Superman from 1978. Yep. But only the first one, obviously. Correct. Only the only movie one superman from 1978 and all the characters including like the villains and mm -hmm. all of those things then we have congo yes and yes the gorillas count yes we have both decided sides that's... the good gorillas and the evil demonic gorillas i will allow it why not well because the they're main characters yeah. the bat the white gorillas yes or gray gorillas the gray gorillas all right, I'll allow it. How can that not be on this? They were like a big part of the movie. I guess because they didn't have a name, but I guess you could still draft them. To they do can still be called the do. Gray Gorillas. That's fair. Okay, I'll allow it. South Park season one, part the one. Yes, the first. It's only four the first episodes. like half. Yeah. The first four episodes up to Big Ale's Big A Boat Ride. Right. Yeah. So death. The, so you can't draft death. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't or draft. Or Mr. Hanky. Well, can you? But no, you can't draft death or Mr. Hanky. No. You can have Jesus. Jesus is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a big one. Yeah. That's, that's a, a heavy one. hitter. You know, we got like, Superman. Hitter. Well, he, it's, his, it's his abilities in South Park, though. Oh, so is he just like a talk show host? This is a talk show host. Right. That's weird. <laughs> but he knows everything, too. Still. But he does. He, he knows he does everything, know everything as yes. a talk show host. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't show any of his other abilities. Correct. Rachel's thinking hard about that one. We don't even know what the top subject is, but she's thinking where to put her on, put him on the draft. Board. Sonic the Hedgehog. One and two. One and two. Yeah. The original one and two games. Yes. So like think Sonic. Tails. Tails. Doctor Robotnik. Yeah. And I guess you could take the bad Nicks if you really wanted them. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do for you. I don't know. But you could take but them. Yeah, I guess they could be there. Yeah. I, I always wanted a little robot piranha. <laughs> Have all the little robotic bunnies running around, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that's going to do, but anyway. Or, yeah, like, and, like, the, the fireflies and stuff, too. Yeah. 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 Hmm. 
It's a possibility. Okay. The Outsiders. The Outsiders, yes. Good or awesome. I feel like, yeah, it's any character in that movie really wasn't a background character. No, they were all there. Yeah. Yeah. And then Halloween. Right. From 1970. From 19... Yeah. Yeah. So the characters from that movie as well. Yeah. So those are the subjects or the draft pool that we have to work with for this fantasy draft. Now, the next thing we have to do is spin the wheel of fantasy to determine what subject we are going to draft in this year's fantasy draft. We have a 12 option board of different scenarios to choose from let's go one by one just to give you an idea of what we have on the list uh, on this list not the list so rachel what's the first subject that we have to potentially land on football okay yeah so that's a standard we have to you'd have to draft a fantasy football team so you'd have to draft a quarterback some running backs wide receivers a tight end a defensive unit right yeah from last year, the zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse, yeah. We, we liked it, so we're keeping it on the board. We're keeping it on the board, but alien invasion. Yes, very good. Yes. A heist. Mm-hmm. I like that one. That could be an interesting one with this group. It really could. It really could. Yeah. You don't have to pick one from every movie or, yeah, no. or subject. No. I don't think we picked any Simpsons last year. Because they no, just I didn't. Don't... Like, what are they going to do in a zombie apocalypse? That's very true. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wilderness survival, mm -hmm. which could be like any type of biome. We were talking about this before. Yeah, we were thinking forest. We're thinking forest. Like a forest. You have to survive forest, the forest. Jungle type of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many people did we get in that one? Five. Okay, so we have to pick five characters to help in a wilderness survival. Got right. It. Okay. Deserted island. So you're on an island. Yes. That has no other land connected to it. In the middle of nowhere. Right. How are you going to survive? Yes. With your seven, or your, I guess your six friends. No, it's your seven friends. Because it's Gilligan's Island rules. It's Gilligan Island's rules. <laughs> so you have to have seven That's people. right. <laughs> Superhero initiative. Yeah, I like that one. So you're building your Avengers team or your right. Justice League. Then you have your wrestling stable. Yeah, so again, a wrestling stable. I think you can build... You have you made the argument you can build a wrestling stable several ways. I like to think you have to have like a champion, a tag team, a manager, a, a muscle, that kind of thing. It, but, it does make sense to have like the specific characters of, yeah. the, of the team. But, but you were like, well, NWO and S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't have like a manager. That's right. So, like, they were so sometimes they yeah. can be so a little bit always, heavier on one end than, than the different. other. Yeah. It kind of depends on what kind of stable you're going for. Yeah. What kind of strategic team it is. Right, right. I guarantee we would build differently. So yeah, we would. would. Be interesting. Yeah. Always. And you don't have to pick the wrestlers. I'm definitely... I, I, I don't know who I I feel pick. like you'd have to pick... Maybe well, you don't even have to pick one wrestler. No, <laughs> screw it. If you get the wrestling yeah, stable, don't, don't even pick a wrestler. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Treasure hunt. Interesting. And for this one, we're going to let you go up to seven. So okay. you could have less than that, but it depends on how you want to strategize that team. Right. Yeah, because you might not want to cut the treasure seven ways. That's right. But you might not get somebody's abilities. That exactly. It's too much to think about. I'm already I'm already anxious. I mean, it should make you anxious. That's what this whole thing is about. <laughs> the next up, which is actually was added this year, so if you're listening to this and you already listened to last year's, this is going to sound new. Mm -hmm. The street rumble. Yes, because we did in honor of the outsiders, a street rumble. So not a royal rumble, but a, a rumble like the outsiders rumble. Yeah, so you don't get thirty punching guys, and kicking. You get seven. No weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you get you get to put together your outsiders. No, that's, a, that's an interesting thing, thing to think about. It's a punching and kicking, no weapon. So would it also be like no magical abilities? I think so. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So does Superman have to hold his punches? I, I, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll okay. About okay. <laughs> and which I'm actually, I like this last one. Mm. This is also a new one that we've added on. I'm kind of interested to see where this could go. So mm. I'm excited to see in the future or, to, or this year if, if we get it. <laughs> What would it end up being? But we're adding on the slasher. Yes. The slasher scenario. So you so have a slasher you're that's trying attacking. To, you're trying to survive a slasher movie slasher. Right. 
and you have to put together the typical kind of characters that you'd see in a slasher movie. Exactly. And, and you're trying to survive it. So this is like five to seven yeah. is what we were thinking yeah. for characters. Yeah, if we land on it, we'll talk about it more. Right. But like, we're thinking, yeah, you'd have to have like, you but know, think, your like killer. But think like the Scooby-Doo team. Yeah, you need to have like the the smart one and the ditzy one and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, the, yeah. the comic relief. Right. Yeah. The muscle, maybe. <laughs> Everything <laughs> the, has the a leader. muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So those are, is that everything? That is everything. Okay, okay. So those are the scenarios that are up for grabs. I think that means that it is time to spin the fantasy wheel, and we will determine what it was will be the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft scenario. Uh, can I get a little music? Okay, great. So, Rachel, spin the wheel. Here she goes. Because <laughs> you turned so slowly, like you were about to say who won the Academy Award. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think of what to say. Okay. Where? And the scenario for Shelf Life's second annual... Yeah. The scenario for Shelf Life's second annual fantasy draft is the Superhero Initiative. Oh boy. This... So we it's definitely to, different from last year. It's definitely different from last year. So we and have, it's funny because we didn't have a Marvel this year. We did not have a Marvel. We, we had do a, have a DC. We have a DC, so it could be your Justice League, for that matter. There could be a one. star here that will be the number one pick with a bullet. Because after Superman, it's like, what the hell are we going to do? Well, I have I have a thought. Okay. Rachel's got a thought. I already have like my second oh, she's got, if, she's if got I get people. second. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, I do. I do. I have. I know my first, depending on where I'm at. Yeah. So we're picking five. How many Avengers are there? Oh, there's five. In the, there's five in the six. We're picking six. We're picking six okay, so superheroes six, for our initiative. We are. We are putting together a team of superheroes from those. From subjects. Ghost, the Royal Rumble of 1997, The Office, oh, Superman, okay. Congo, South Park, Season One, Part One, Sonic the Hedgehog One and Two. The Outsiders, and Halloween. Okay. I've got some ideas. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my draft list together. We are going to take a break. A word from our short spot. Our short sponsor? Who's our short sponsor? A short word from our fake sponsor. And when we come back, we are going to have our lists together. We are going to start the draft. Even though the second oh. you start a draft and you have your list, your list goes out the window. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. But we do have to actually figure out who is drafting first. So we have a special, cue the, cue the special commemorative coin. It is a ring, golden ring. It, uh, very, oh, yeah, the the head side has Sonic's face on it. The tails side has Tails' face on it. Only it's Tails, oh. Tails, Tails. Why would it have Tails' face on it? Well, that that was a mistake. We're going to have to. <laughs> going to have to really. So, I hope have somebody got fired for that one. It has to have his tail. <laughs> so, Rachel, I will let you choose heads or tails with the special ring. Yeah, I'll flip the coin and you call heads or tails. Ready? I'm call. going to pick tails. <laughs> I also like to move. <laughs> Rachel the Beast, Austin Powers. You don't I have your mic. I'm, I can, they can hear me. If you're going to do that, it has to be done right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to choose. I needed to move closer to to Rachel. I didn't have. It's very room awkward. In, in I my don't part like of this. the studio. Okay, here we go. I am flipping the coin. Rachel has chosen tails. Tails. Heads. Darn it. Well, I did go first last year. That's true, you did. I did. Which I will receive. I am going to go first this year. So when we the come... answer is heads, by the way. We didn't actually say it out loud. Obviously, I was disappointed, so we knew. Okay, so this this makes it a little bit more interesting. Rachel was really hoping to get Superman. Actually, honestly, if you don't know what I'm going to pick, I don't. That could be good. I don't have a clue. This could be good. Okay. I really don't because again, th there's like a clear dart. There's like an Andrew Luck <laughs> sitting there to take. And uh, I don't know. I have no idea what to do after that, to be honest with you. So after a word from our fake sponsor or after this short break or after that short sponsor or after our short sponsor or after this break, 
when we come back, everybody shut up. When we come back, we will draft our superhero team here at the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. Do 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 Now, a word from our fabulous fake sponsor, Fantasy Kings, the official draft board supplier of the Shelf Life podcast. Today's show is fictionally brought to you by Fantasy Kings. Are you tired of the same old fantasy sports and betting? Spend all your money on preseason football in the Little League World Series, but have still some more left for action? Well, look no further than Fantasy Kings. They've got you covered. At Fantasy Kings, you can bet on fictional characters, draft fictional fantasy teams, make up points, anything goes, nothing really matters. It's all fake. It's almost like the stock market, but also with the ability to draft Gandalf like you always wanted. Whether you're a seasoned drafter or a rookie, Fantasy Kings has you covered. Their easy to use interface and digital companion app ensure that your draft runs smoothly and efficiently. Just like a well choreographed fight scene. No one's actually hitting each other. And neither should you. Fantasy Kings. For when real world sports isn't enough for your fake imaginary team. Fantasy Kings is a fictional sponsor created for the purpose of this fake commercial. No actual product or service exists under this name. And now, back to the 2023 Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. I, ha- I have the weirdest team. Now that I'm actually looking at, like, what I was like, yeah, these would fit perfect in those, like, categories. And I'm looking at this going, that's what I chose? Huh. That's, the, that's, that's part of the uh, experience. <sighs> I'm concerned about my team, though. We haven't even drafted like, it. Like, I don't know if, like, if I got this team, would a couple of them work well together? That's where I'm nervous. Mm. That's where I'm nervous. That, yep, that is a... Chemistry is also a thing. She, she thinks she's ready. I don't know. Even even in our real fantasy draft, I, I regret I regret all of my choices. I regret every decision. <laughs> and we're back! Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to the Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. We are not live in studio here for the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. For those of you that did not listen to the first 10 minutes of the show for some reason, we are here to <laughs> go through, we'll probably mark it, we are here to draft a team between myself and Rachel, your your humble co-hosts of the Shelf Life podcast. That's right. We are going to draft a team based on the characters that we went over during volume two of Shelf Life. And we are doing a specific scenario in order to draft those teams as opposed to doing, you know, like a fantasy football draft like you might be doing this weekend or next weekend. We are doing a superhero initiative is the scenario, meaning that we are going to do seven rounds. Of... Yeah, we changed the number, by the way. Yeah, from we went the last well, 10 minutes. We, we talked like, about it for a minute. Has, this has the seven. The Justice League is usually like seven main members. Avengers is probably not because it's all over the place but we're like eh, let's go with seven yeah so we're going with seven rounds of superheroes and then we were thinking maybe we'll do an eighth round to do to pick like their arch nemesis like the villain that it they could be have to yeah it could be kind of fun so we the might... villain from these group this could be really interesting so we might do that as well that's what we're doing so we are going to draft a superhero team based off of the volume two characters now i have won the coin toss so i will be making the first pick any other notes, Rachel, about the draft that we should go over? Of course, the, the both of the teams have a set number of time. A set there is no there is no salary cap. Right. There is no restrictions. Right. So it is fair game. We have the draft board up. We are ready to go. We're gonna go down to the commissioner. He is getting ready to go to the podium, and he's gonna kick us off. So let's go straight to the commissioner. Well, hello, fans. And welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, boo. Boo. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's yay, hear it. Let's boo. hear it. Yay. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you all to the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. We're here to have a lot of fun today. 
We're going to make a lot of dreams come true. So with that being said, Kevin, you are on the clock. Oh boy, and here we go. We have started. I am on the clock here with the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. I'm just going to keep saying it. Now, now, now we all kind of have an idea of who might be the first pick of the Fantasy Draft yes. for Volume 2. Yes. Do you think Kevin's actually going to choose said thought character yeah, folks let us know <laughs> put put in your votes right in the comments right in the comments right now pause, put it this. In the com- pause, pause this put it in the comments see if you're and right see or if wrong. you're right and then let us know okay so we what you don't what the folks at home don't know is that rachel and i have spent the last 48 hours cr- oh my god just... all i did was stare at every character i have i have this crazy list oh man i would love to do something strange oh my god no I would no, love to do something he's screwing different. this up on me already. I can feel it. However, there are some drafts. <laughs> it worked out. Here's the thing. If you look at the the topic, if you look at the, the subjects that we've covered in volume two, there are some times when the first pick of a draft is really obvious. Okay? And there are some times when you've got your Victor Weminyamas, you've got your Connor Bedards. We'll see if those references hold up. <laughs> You've got your you got your Peyton Mannings. You have the people that are like, no, Andrew Lux, you take that guy first. Right, you just do it. And then you figure out what you're going to do after that. It, yes. Like, in my opinion, this is real fantasy football advice. There you go. Look at that. I think Christian McCaffrey is is this. Now, we'll see if this holds we'll up. We'll see if this holds is, up. Is like, you take him first. Sure. Okay. No, now, would that actually happen in our draft? Probably not. But no, I don't. I don't know because I mean, it depends on who. Gets... There are some people who say Justin Jefferson or Cooper Cup. Yeah. Or or, or even like Jamar Chase. Right. Like, there's a lot of that. Like, okay, really? Who sh- or Austin Eckler? Maybe. Like, there is all that. Like, I who should that go one. first? And it's like, no, 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 no. Don't be silly with it. Don't be cute. Take the main guy. Just do the main guy if you have the chance to take the main guy. Okay. That's it. That's it. Then you can be clever. With that be clever being, later. With that being said. If he falls to you, take him. With my first Which might be what happens now. Pick. I'm scared. In the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft, Kevin selects Superman. I mean, that was obvious. We all you do not. Happen. You don't. You don't screw with it. Don't tug on Superman's cape. Don't bother not taking him. He is the first pick. He's Superman. Question. Yes. So that also includes Clark Kent. Well, sure. I'm just, I want to make he sure is the same that person. the alter it's the same ego. Person. Some people might have not have known that. Spoiler alert. No, it's okay. I just, I just thought maybe like, are we splitting him where his alter ego is also a character? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I was hoping. I'm just asking. <laughs> if you really want Clark Kent, you can have him. <laughs> Okay, Lois. So Kevin gets the the obvious choice. Yep. The I'm sorry, the folks, superhero like, of the. Did you make of a... the choices? So Superman, Kevin, Steam, Rachel, you are on the clock. I mean, as disappointed as I am, I kind of assumed that was going to happen. So, I had something already up my sleeve for this. Okay. I figured I need to have one that is also superhero like. You know, saves the world or, you know, his world. And yeah, I was I was, I was hoping to get this one. I know you were. But and I mean, I had to do what I had, I had to do. I had to do. <laughs> also a good uh, a, a character for a, a group of, 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 of people, I think, because he is speedy. Sure. For the second pick, I am taking Sonic the Hedgehog. Sure. Sure. It's a good pick. I was hoping he was going to get back to me, but I, I had a feeling he wasn't. I had to, because I knew you were going to take Superman. It was just so obvious. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, he's it Superman. It just makes sense. If you weren't going to take Superman, obviously I, I was going to have to take Superman. Right. It was one of those situations where yeah. it's like, well, even though I want another character, I'm going to have to just take Superman. Sure. Okay, well, so that is the first two picks, are Superman and Sonic the Hedgehog. A very solid start, I very think, solid. to the fantasy draft. Yes. I don't think there was any other way to go, but folks at home, let us know. If right. We're overlooking who should have been in the first round, but I, that's who... I mean, it makes sense. Th- those are my first two on, the, right. on, the, on my draft board. Rachel, you are back on the clock with the second round pick. 
you might think this one's kind of fun, like funky. Okay. I don't. Maybe not. She's maybe it makes, me. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe it makes sense. Look, I also need a heavy hitter, mm -hmm. like you. I have a, a nice speedy dude that can get around, you know, and do the things he needs to do. But I'm, I'm also going to need a heavy hitter. I don't know what she's doing here, and I'm very <laughs> you, worried. You probably don't know what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I just was like, yeah, yeah, this makes sense. You're taking Bob? <laughs> Obviously Bob. From you Halloween? Bob. You always need the Bob from Halloween. Yeah, Bob from uh, The Outsiders and Bob from Halloween. It's pretty this. great. He has them right next to each other, too. It just is Bob and Bob. It doesn't have any other names. It's just Bob. <laughs> Might have to take them. You're going to take Bob? I don't know. <laughs> I want just a regular guy. Well, <laughs> just this schmuck. <laughs> just a sh Joe Schmo on the team. So I decided to also, you know, put my hand into the rumble pool over oh, here. Oh, God. I really hope you... I want... If you take somebody I wanted, like, in the middle of rounds, I'm going to be pissed. Because <laughs> I want a, a nice, strong... You keep person. saying that. I keep thinking you're going to take what I was thinking about. Who Go ahead. probably could also be kind of a leaderish, kind of maybe that kind of role, go into that role, uh -huh. you know, power leader. Also, just you know, blew it away during the rumble. I am taking Stone Cold Steve oh, she Austin. She is taking Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. Now he he was a heel, yes. But him and him and Sonic are. Or a little, a little snippy back and forth. That's right. I feel like I feel like they kind of like he would. He does the right thing even when he's a heel. Sure, sure. You gotta understand yeah. his motives on this one. I I oh, I understand. Oh yeah. Oh I understand. I mean, even with the villain, we might we might have to have you know, the heel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might have to. We don't know who the villain is, right. so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so uh, very solid picks. Because, yes, even though this is not uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin at his most Stone Cold Steve Austin, he was still... He's very strong. Still Stone Cold. He's very strong at this point, I would say. Yes. So Rachel's team consists of Sonic and Stone Cold. 90s as hell. <laughs> that 90s team as hell. There. Let's go. <laughs> so I am back on the clock with the with my second pick. And as sad as I am that Sonic is gone, there's still a couple of names on here that oh, no. I was I'm scared looking now. at. Are you going to be taking something I want? And, um, <laughs> this is always going to be the back and forth. I'm going to. I'm. I'm thinking about this, and, I, and there's a couple of there's a couple of names in mind. I've got. I've kind of got three three that I want. Okay. All right. And the problem is I only have two picks. Mm -hmm. And if you take one of them, any of the three, I'm going to be upset. <sighs> okay. So there's. I've got an idea for my team. I've got a couple of backups in mind. So, with the, all of that being said, all right, I've got. I know I've got two picks in a row, so I'm thinking about this because I know what I want to do with. I think I know what I want to do with this second pick, but I'm really thinking about the third. Yeah. And I'm I'm hoping that you don't do what I want. Okay. In the third, with your third and fourth pick, so I've got Superman. So I mean. My team's already flying high, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. All right, I've got it. I've got it. All right, with with my second pick, I am taking Oda Mae Brown. Oh, you? No! Oh, I'm so no! <laughs> I had Oda Mae on my list. Oh, I'm sad now. <laughs> All right, so she's got she's good comic relief. Yes, she has powers. She can speak with the the other side i think that that could come in very handy for a superhero team that's something superman cannot do that's so true she complements superman quite well and i think that the two of them would get along i think that that's a fun dynamic with superman and Oda Mae brown sure sure i could see that being a very she would make fun of him the whole oh, time absolutely he's so straight laced so straight laced and from the 70s but really kind of acts like he's from the 50s mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Oda Mae is such like a world weary uh, con man so i think that that could be a really fun dynamic i like that idea for a team so Oda Mae, mark it down rachel i'm taking her okay sorry how dare you? I'm... I was so excited to get Oda Mae. I had, I'm like, he's not going to have Oda Mae on his list. And then you took Oda Mae from me. Yep. I love Oda Mae. Well, you got Sonic and Stone Cold, you know? I have to cross her out. That, was, that, so been, that might have been a little too powerful. Oda Mae with Sonic and Stone Cold. Sonic and... Uh, you don't know who else I have on my list. I, that's true. 
I might have a very strong team. You need to get Michael Myers team. on that team so you have somebody that doesn't talk back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm also I'm on the clock still with my third round pick. Right. Here. Yes. Yes. Because yes. Um, it so, snakes. If you guys didn't realize, it does snake. Yes, we're doing back a serpentine forth. style draft as you should for fantasy, unless you're doing an auction draft. So, Rachel, I'm just going to throw out some names. I'm not going to say whether or not... Well, should I do that? Maybe I'll wait until the next round to throw out some names of different people because I don't want you to get any ideas. Oh, I have my list. I have my list. I know list. you do, but I just want it to probably remind... It already there. I want to remind people of some of the names on on the list. Sure. Okay? So I'm just going to I'm just gonna throw out some names of, of different people that are still available here. Sheriff Brackett. Right, yes. Sheriff Brackett. Mm-hmm. Johnny Cade. Johnny Cade. That's That's a character. That, that is a character. <laughs> that that is a person that you could choose. Yes, Richard from Congo. Richard, the uh, <laughs> coward scientist. Uh, that's a good comic relief guy. Otis. He's also very smart, though. So you could take him, Richard. That's true. Yeah. Oh, Otis. Otis. Yeah, f- you know, oh, Mr. Luthor. Otis. Oh, Otis. Okay. Yeah. yeah These yeah, are all yeah. top of my list. My right? bad. I, I understand. Yes. Kevin Malone. I'm like searching this. I'm like, where is Kevin Malone? <laughs> I mean, clearly, I'm... I mean, you know what? Kevin is very good at music and stuff. We do know that. Like, he has a band. Mm. That's true, but I don't know how that would help with the. He's an accountant. That... He could be smart That's with true. numbers. Could be smart with numbers. Could be good with the money. Right. He's the money man. <laughs> He's the money man, and uh, Ahmed Johnson, of course. Well, yeah. Could be that, there too. I mean, that just makes sense. I didn't eat a lot of beef on my team. All the beef. All the beef. Clearly, those are the ones that I'm I'm thinking about. Of course, uh, there are some names for for real though that if Subway we end Ghost. Up... Are you gonna get the Subway Ghost since you have Oda May? See, I feel like Oda could talk to the ghosts and like ask them to like please help mm-hmm. instead of like actually having a ghost on the team. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. that now, makes sense. Now he was better at doing ghost stuff than Patrick Swayze this was. This is very true at that moment. Right. But Patrick Swayze brings a lot of hunkability. Right. Having him he, and Chris Reeves on the same team could be pretty good. Definitely hunkability. Right a lot there. of hunkability. A lot of hunkability. Uh, that's that's selling some tickets. <laughs> now the question, the question is, <laughs> I kind of want to know. I know we're not. I know I need to make this pick. Dairy. Yes. And Sam Wheat. Yes. You can have them on the same team, technically. Yes. I'm just throwing that out. There. Yes, you could. You absolutely could. They'll. That hunk ability is through the roof. <laughs> Think about that one. It's, it's pretty great. Because it's just one man. We talked about Sparky. Split. Sparky's a possibility. Sparky is definitely a possibility. He could be he, he could be like that like sleeper pick right there. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. Okay. I've got the man of steel. Right. I've got a psychic. Yes. What I need on the team is is someone that is very street smart. Right. I need someone that knows how to get things done on the ground and how to get that Rachel might th- know who I'm picking and I think she's going to be pissed. I need to, I need someone <laughs> that so mad right really now. knows how to like how to deal with like the 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 people. Like Oda May is a little too rough around the edges, and Superman is like this, like godlike character. So I need a man of the people. I'm gonna be so mad and if you take him. I swear to God, I swear to God. With my third pick in the second annual Shelf Life Fantasy Draft, I am selecting Captain Monroe Kelly from Congo. <sighs> He's so good, though. I had him on my list too. I'm mad. I'm mad. He's a very good character. I think he, he's like my Hawkeye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, he's getting shit done. He is the resourceful one. And I, and I think that if you have him on the team, he's he's the one that has to deal with, like, the locals or, like, the back alley stuff. Like, because a Superman can charge in there and do it, but it's, yeah. like, it's going to cause, it's going to ruffle too many feathers. Like, sure. he's the one that has to go in and be, like, negotiate, and then at the very end be like, I can get, get Superman to just kill you. But, I mean, he won't. But you know what I mean? Like, he, he's the one that has to kind of do that. And I think Oda May could definitely partner with him in doing that. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with my team so far. Superman, Oda May Brown, Monroe Kelly. I'm really mad that you took Monroe Kelly. Because I, I liked the idea of having Monroe Kelly. I knew you were going to go for him. 
You just didn't know when. That's right. I didn't know when. <laughs> so, Rachel, you are back on the clock. Your third pick. You have Sonic the Hedgehog and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who are you going to add to this lineup? Dwight Schrute. Okay. I think I think I know what I want to do here. I Her, think. Herkimer Hermolka? I mean, obviously, we want Hermolka on all the teams. Scuttlebutt? Scuzzlebutt? <laughs> what was Scuttlebutt? Scuttlebutt was a... Like a Sasquatch type of thing. That's right. Yeah. With Patrick Duffy for a could leg be, and that, a That could have been a, a good, hand. like, heavy hitter right there. Yeah. Scuttlebutt, yeah. you know? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not lying. Scuzzlebutt might be one of, like, my dark horses. A sleeper pick. If you will. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm thinking I may need. <sighs> explain, explain your thinking. I'm tr- I don't know. Explain as you explain as you're, what you're I thinking. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. You took my leader slash group person. Is that Munger O'Kelly? Yeah. But I have another person in mind for that kind of fit. Okay. All right. Also, a man down to earth, a good a good man, right? <laughs> a good man protects his family, is part of a bigger group. That if we needed them, we we thinking. could we could bring them in. Uh-huh. A bit of a hunkability. Uh oh. And I, I think that it would it, he could keep everybody in line because that's kind of that role that he was forced into. Sure. So I'm gonna go with Derry. I'm going to go with Daryl Curtis. Daryl Curtis. Daryl Curtis is on Rachel's team. I mean, you had to, right? I think I had to. <laughs> you took my Monroe Kelly. Now I had to go with Derry. That He was literally like my second thought. <laughs> See that? Puts on that tight black t-shirt and is ready. That's right. You gotta... But he's ready to rumble if he needs to. He is ready to he's rumble. He's a good man who is like protective and ready to rumble when yeah. he needs to. Yeah. Him and Stone Cold are gonna are gonna have to get Sonic a I black think, shirt I, so that they true. all wear Ooh, are in uniform. I like it. We're getting uniforms <laughs> now with my team. Some, there, every everyone on your team needs a black leather jacket. Can, can I say something? My next character probably doesn't even need the costume. Works perfectly well for her. I'm gonna tell you who this is in a second. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. So the 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 fourth round pick. So we're going into the fourth round. And I think, again, I think this is also a good idea because she can communicate well with humans, but she can also communicate well with other gorillas. And gorillas can be a really strong component if we need them. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So if we need that, and she and she is getting an in with the gorillas, we know this. We know this. Yes. We know this. So for this my known. fourth round pick, mm-hmm. I'm taking Amy, the good gorilla. Good gorilla. Good gorilla. Amy. Amy. Good gorilla. Amy. Good gorilla. Gone. Let's take a look at the tape on Amy here. You can see her here doing the sign language. Excellent form on Beautifully the sign done. language. Issues with her unintimidating voice, of course. Sure, we a can always change the voice box. Yes, we need potentially to. be able to change that. I don't, I don't see that as a huge issue. But you have the intimidators with Stone Cold Steve Austin, even Derry on the team as That's intimidators. Right. So, as a supplemental, I think Amy with her strength, her her intelligence, her ability to paint and finger paint. That's right. Uh, her love of Doom and Taco Bell. That's right. I th- and and martinis. I think a very nice addition to the team good good I feel like you're there. being really mean to me just now no I'm not I feel I just, like you're I just trying to tell to me do, that was a horrible choice no, because I needed she's to do just like, the lazy ass gorilla I needed to how do a, dare you I need to do a tale of the tape on somebody it seems she like she is Amy very got intelligent the tape. and I think she, and she's incredibly strong but she's a gorilla that's right and she's yeah she is smart she is smarter than the average gorilla right we know this it is known it is known <laughs> She's very smart. So, Rachel, uh, recap your team real quick. So, currently, I have Sonic the Hedgehog, our speedster, Stone Cold Steve Austin, our powerhouse, Daryl Curtis, our group leader, and Amy Good Gorilla, our special tactics. Mm-hmm. Yes. Special tactics. Yeah, that's kind of what I went with that I one. I like that, yeah. 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 Because she can go high, you know, she can climb. She's good at that, too. She's, she's, she's a gorilla. Yeah. 
Yeah, she has all the attributes. She's even willing to jump out of a plane if you exactly. if you if tranquilize you her, tranquilize her with and a hold banana. Onto her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so I could now all I picture is Stone Cold Steve Austin with Holding a gorilla her. hold on, hell on his back jumping out of a plane. Yeah, I think that's what would happen. Yeah, I think, I think that sounds about right. Yeah. We'll see if you get that plane. While we're here in the middle of the fourth round, of course you you can always always do fantasy drafts like this at draftkings.com uh, 20% off <laughs> not sponsored not a sponsor I'm just being an ass okay so we're back to me here in the fourth round I have Superman Oda Mae Brown and Monroe Kelly uh, okay so whew. I've got a couple of ideas one of them I kind of want Rachel to be able to get because it fits her team. Wow, I interesting. Want, I'm, I'm curious as to what you think I fits my team. I kind of want them. There's also a couple... I'm, I won't lie. There's a couple of wrestlers I'm looking at. And I can't decide which one. <laughs> I just think one would be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm All right, I'm going to tell you. I'm okay, gonna tell, tell, you tell me. Okay, so... I'm thinking Vader. Yeah, Vader would be a fun one. Because I just think Vader would be a good superhero. I, I feel like he would be a superhero. He's he like would a put Hulk. on a mask. He would be. You he know, really or, would a, be. or the thing. Like, he's, well, he's kind of like a the thing. thing. He's definitely a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I mean, he girth bumped the Undertaker down. Ooh, that's true. So, like, I feel like I picture, like, Monroe Kelly chasing, like, a crook down the street, and then Vader just comes and boom, and just bumps him down with his big belly. <laughs> And like that, that seems fun to me. Bret Hart seems like an obvious pick. Bret Hart, I would say, is probably an obvious pick. Yes. So I'm also thinking Bret Hart. Sure. Now, I see Mankind, and I'm like, he's not at the it's height. So, it's, I, that's true. It's really hard not to, but that's that's think, the reason like, why you man, gotta wait mankind, till that height. Like 99, nine, like Cactus Jack 98. Yeah. Like that's you gotta go a little bit. Kind of you what gotta I wait. Want. Wait till you can you can just beat the crap out of that man and he doesn't go down. Terry Funk, not in his prime, is the problem there. And then uh, even Shawn Michaels. Shawn, uh, Shawn Michaels, I actually think, could fit on your team that you're putting together more than mine. That'd be interesting. With Derry and Sonic, I feel like he fits in for some reason. I don't, I don't know, know why. why. That's just my thoughts on that one. Now I'm looking at the office. He kind of does. You're right. I mean, he's he's he does have that personality that I feel like they would fit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It just it just feels like a fit. I'm looking at Halloween. <sighs> Ooh, you're going for potentially a smart man with a gun, or are you looking for? I don't know. A strategy man with a gun, <laughs> or. Are you looking at the man behind the mask? I just, I'm, I'm, I'm I feel like that would be what you would go for I'm, here. I'm because really... again, again with this one, I'll, I'll say this out loud. I'll say this out loud. Lori Strode is not at her top here. Compared to H two O or even twenty eighteen, that's what I'm I would, thinking. I would agree. Yeah, she's flawed in those, but she's not the ass kicker. The ass kicker. However, she's smart. She is very intelligent. She's got the heart. Yeah. So if you want that heart. So I, I actually was looking at Lori Oh, were Strode. you? Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But I can only make one pick. I mean, I, I would. You, I mean, you get two picks, picks, but that's fine. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it. <gasps> I, I might regret this. I really don't know what to do. You know what? I, I kind of want him on this team. With my fourth overall pick, I select the man they call Vader. <gasps> he went with Vader. I went with Vader. Vader. Now, time. a heel again. But. You always do that, though. You tend to do with, that a but lot. With Superman you know what I'm surprised and... about is that your team is not a bunch of evil villains. Sure. So. <laughs> I'm proud of you for that one. I mean, once you, you took Monroe Kelly. So, I mean, you, you can't really be too evil. <laughs> Just like I said, like, I feel like he's like the thing. Like, he's going to be. He's, he could be a problem, but I think Superman can kind of keep him in line. Superman and Munro Kelly, keeping yeah, him in line. Yeah. Keeping him in line. So, like, and he, he's going to laugh at every Oda Mae Brown joke that she has. It's like when the Juggernaut joined the X-Men. 
Like it's a, he. That he, was a weird time should, as well. He shouldn't be there. <laughs> But if you can just kind of like, hey, you're doing this for the greater good, I think maybe you can get Vader on board. Yeah, yeah. I think it fits. So we are halfway through the fantasy draft. Let's take a quick break. Give us some comments. Do you think, is this how you thought this was going to go? Who would you have chosen? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah, I kind of wonder what people think about that Vader pick. When we come back, we will do the second half of the Shelf Life fantasy draft. Do 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 The 2023 Shelf Life Fantasy Draft is brought to you by LexCorp, Travacom, the world leader in satellite innovation, Haddonfield, Illinois' Halloween Festival, and Dunder Mifflin Paper. Limitless paper in a paperless world. And now, back to the Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. And we're back here at the Shelf Life Fantasy Draft. We have gone through four rounds, a, an exciting, thrilling night here at the Shelf Life Fantasy Draft Studios. I am Kevin. And I'm Rachel. I, yeah, I don't know why, I don't we know why we're doing intro, that again, but okay. But we are. Rachel, break down the team, and then I currently am on the clock for the fifth round. But please, let's recap where we're at right okay. now. Okay. So, for the first round, Kevin has chosen Superman and alter ego Clark Kent. I took, for the second pick, Sonic the Hedgehog. In round two, I chose Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Kevin has chosen Oda Mae Brown. I was very upset about this because mm -hmm. I wanted Oda May. And then he took another one of mine in the third round, Captain Monroe Kelly. And I went with the same character, like, connection, like, point uh, with Daryl Curtis mm -hmm. from The Outsiders. Then in the fourth round, I chose Amy, good gorilla, my tactics specialist. And Kevin has chosen his hard hitter vader big bruiser that vader. big bruiser yeah Fight. <laughs> so, so that... we're on pick number nine round number five who's coming to pick people that for some reason are just started listening i like doing that that stupid joke um so we have three picks left here and That's right. this is the point in your fantasy draft where you have to kind of be looking at the composition of your team Yes. What's still out there? What's still around you? This is, goes for fantasy football as well. I'm, of course, half joking, half serious, where it's like you have to kind of look at, like, what is my team? What, what is, is my it team like have? so far? Yeah. What tier breaks do you have? Like, yes. Are there four quarterbacks taken? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes g gone? But are are there any of those top tiers? A, J a Jalen Hurts, a Justin Fields? It's, did one of those guys drop? Should I take them over, say, some mid-tier wide receiver like a Christian Watson or something like sure, that? Sure, sure, sure. Now, Christian Watson kind of almost won you the championship last year. so I. That's right. But he doesn't have Aaron Rodgers this year. so Yeah. I don't know if you're going to. It's weird. Well, that was, I mean, he's very good. It's yeah, just no, no, yeah. without that. You got to have your, Jordan Love. your hold hand. You got to hand, hand holders. Yeah. Hand holders right there, right? That's yeah, the word? I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at this composition of this team. I have three picks left. I'm a little upset that I only have three because I, I've got more on the board than three, but I needed to because you, you could select them. Mm -hmm, There's mm -hmm. one I'm looking at that I don't really want to split him up from Rachel's team necessarily. <sighs> Why do you keep doing this to me? There's uh, <laughs> another one that could be a wild card. Well, let's see. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. I feel like I have to do this, but... Oh, no. But I'm wondering if it'll work. What is Kevin thinking right now? Let us know. Let us know what you think. Okay. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, boy. Okay. Right. I'm very nervous because if he takes another one of my guys, I'm going to be so upset and I'm going to have to reevaluate everything. It's between... See, I, I don't like saying it's between three when she's got two picks. 
after me, and you and she could take. It's actually kind of between four. I'm probably so, already thinking about taking a certain one if it's on if it's on your list. I know, and that's why it's like I don't know. I'm not looking at you, so I I can't see your reaction to this. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking at. I won't react. I'm looking at Lori Strode. Okay. Daly. Mm-hmm. Because I, I just don't think Pony Boy. No, I, I, you know what? Here, I'll it, give you my two cents about this. Okay. All right. Between Pony Boy and Daly, I still think Daly is a stronger character. He's one. He's older. He's a bit. He's got more brains going on in that head, that noggin. And then he's sure he's stronger. I know you're concerned about his hot headedness. Yes, I am. But he still has a big heart, mm-hmm. and I feel like that overtakes the hot head. Sure. And and I kind of have plans for what I could do with him on the team. If I can get another person, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get the other person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Interesting. So then it's like, do I take that person and then see? But but then you you would know that, so that that's a problem. I'm also I, I'm also still considering Bret Hart. The, the problem with Bret Hart is, is he's such a technical wrestler. He's very technical. So even though he's very tactical in that way right can he really be effective on a superhero team when he like it's 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 hand-to-hand completely with bret hart right and it's and it's it's very technical sound very technically sound sure so it would be very specific when you could use a bret hart as opposed to like a vader Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, undertaker also a possibility he's not like full-blown dead man undertaker but he's still there as the undertaker right I'll be honest. The office. I'm. The office is it's hard so to look hard at with this scenario. Yes. And I know people at home probably want. They're probably us... screaming for us to take the man who loves to be in the woods, <laughs> or or just somebody from the office because it would be funny. Of course. Could Creed could be your Creed. <laughs> You're but silent. But like, what do we right know there? about Creed? Nothing. And, and, and that's then... the problem, you guys. You guys have to realize we're we're doing this from only season one yes all right you learn a lot about these characters and i know you guys know everything about the office so i know you you're like but they like they we know this about them but we probably don't learn that until like season four so loomis might be just too old or spazzy it could be a good one though he is he is a doctor and tails i was looking at because he has he's tech savvy Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. like a good mechanic and he can fly and and i Picturing Superman flying with tails is a lot of fun. Sure. Daily uh, tails. What round is this? Round five? Yes. Pick number nine. I'm going to do this. I think... Don't upset me. I'm probably going to upset you. No, don't! <laughs> do you not want me to and I'll pick a different one? <sighs> it's just that you're picking everybody. It's fine. Whatever. Well, if, if I tell you... Okay. If I tell you who I'm going... Who I was thinking about picking and if you want them, I'll let you have them. And I'll pick somebody else. I'm just going to tell you what my thought process was for picking them. Can I tell you that? Whatever. Tell me. Huh? Whatever. Okay, so I was thinking Tails. Yeah, so was I. Because <laughs> I like the idea, like I said, of like him being like, like the little buddy on the team with uh-huh. Superman. And even like Vader, it's like Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> and he could like be on vader's shoulders but vader would be like get this thing off of me and, and it's like the little guy with like the big vader but i don't have to do that i mean it's up to you i i i want him because like i was like one because yes he has his tactical he flies i figured he worked well he would work well with amy i figured he would work well with sonic because of you know they're already that feeling together and then yeah he would be that goofy sidekick that Stone Cold mm. sure. would would be like, I, I hate this kid, but then throw him on his shoulder when he needs to, you know? So one of the other things I was thinking with Tails is if I get Daly. Then and Daryl Dale... would love him because it's like a little brother. See that? And that's where I was hoping it, in the sixth I could get Daly because then Daly would, would be like the big brother to Tails. So even if he didn't have Sonic, he'd have Daly. But then you'd be like, fuck you, I'm going to say Daly because he took, took Tails. So I just wanted to explain why I was thinking Tails. But I, you took I might, my Otome. You took my Captain maybe Monroe. I'll let You're you going to take him. my Tails. Maybe I'll I let you have hate him. hate you. I don't want to be, I don't wanna be <sighs> Well, it get my, my team gets weird 
if you take tails. My team gets what? weird. So just for the sake of, because I won't take tails, I'll, I will take a, I'll take somebody else. What would you do if I took tails? Out of curiosity. <sighs> so I counted his as my element because he can fly, right? Re okay, folks at home, hang on, because <laughs> they're gonna be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Rachel is trying to build a well-rounded. I am trying to build of, a like, well-rounded team. Like different types of heroes. That is all correct. Together. The power, the brains, the magic, the group, the speedster, the element, the special, and then our, our possibility if we're doing it this at the end, the villain. I already have my power, my group, my speedster, and my special. Okay. So if I was to take an element, all right, I wanted Tails because he flies as well as is, tac is tactical with, with, his, his with his electronic... That was actually very good. Thank that you. sounded like it. He's very t tactical with his uh, electronics knowledge. All right, mm -hmm. that he's going to be my element. If mm -hmm. you take tails on me, I have to take Sam Wheat. <laughs> you <laughs> you don't want that where they both look at each other and do the <laughs> Spider Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> Which also works because he's a ghost. Ghost. Who can, when he wants to, touch the real world. And he gets sure. very good at it. And he wants to fight. He wants to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, that's also why I wanted Oda May. Because sure. then we can at least, you know, talk to him. <laughs> but I wouldn't have Oda May. So now I just have this character who can, like, move things but can't talk to anybody. Or... I have a third option. Oh, you're right, because no one knows that he's there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, okay. Yeah, that would get kind of weird. Yeah. Or. Or. No, it just doesn't work. No, I don't really have a third. Do I have a third? I don't know. You tell me. I really. I'd have to think about it, because I don't know who my element would be. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just want I want the folks at home to know what could have been, and it could. I want someone at home to draw me a. They're picture. gonna be mad that you're being nice to me. I know they are, and as the big brother, I shouldn't be. However, <laughs> I'm going to be nice, and the folks and everyone can say, "Oh, you shouldn't have been nice. You should have taken tails." I just want someone to draw up Vader <laughs> with tails on his shoulder and tails spinning the tails and like getting ready to fight like Groot and Rocket Raccoon. And then another one of tails flying next to Superman, and I'll be fine. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> okay? Because I want everyone to picture that. And then I want the two alternatives there. What I'm going to do with the fifth round pick instead is I'm going to take Dr. Loomis as our Professor Xavier of the team, as the man with the, with the mind and the mission, he will be the glue that can hold this together with I could see that. Superman being the leader of the team, of course. So, and he's uh, also ready to get down and dirty. <laughs> he's, he's, he is definitely ready to get dirty. He's a hothead like everybody else on oh, the absolutely. team, except for yeah, Superman, of course. But You, only, you is, don't uh, have that many hotheads. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, Vader. That's it? Yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, uh, I mean Oda May like, <laughs> is Oda May a is reluctant. Oda not a hothead. She is just boisterous. Okay. Okay. I don't think she's a hothead. I think she's just boisterous. Okay. Yeah, she speaks her fair. mind. That's fair. Okay, so I'm I'm being nice. Now I want to go back and do this with... I feel bad that you're being I nice. I want to go back and see what would happen if I picked Tails. But officially, I picked Dr. Loomis. Rachel, you were on the clock. <sighs> Tenth overall pick. I feel like because you're being nice to me, I have to take him now. Well, if you don't fucking take him now, I'm going to take him. <laughs> like, I'm not going to let you, like, wait till the seventh round. <laughs> so I, I will take... Miles Tails Power. Prower. I'm P -R, sorry. P R P R O W. Because it's per I'm sorry. hour. Miles Tails Prower. <laughs> there you go. I, I was confused with what you said. <laughs> I didn't know I said it wrong. As my as the tenth pick of the draft. Excellent pick. How'd you come up with that one, Rachel? I had it on my <laughs> list. You make it sound like you gave it to me. No, that I is know. Mean. I know. I know you had it on your list. So I, <sighs> I was gonna have Superman race Sonic. But I knew I was not going to get him I back. I mean, we have our two groups. We could do that anyway. That's true. It doesn't mean that we can't work together. 
We just have two different teams. Yes, it does. I can't stand them. <laughs> the last last two picks here, Rachel. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you have Sonic, Stone Cold, Dairy, Amy, Tails. Right. So your sixth team member. So my sixth team member, I'm hey, going to go with. I have, I have a question. Okay. okay. For you. Before you <laughs> gonna go right into my little rant about it but go ahead who is the leader on your team like who's the my leader is daryl okay so daryl is rounding all these guys up yes okay because i i I see him as the leader okay granted he doesn't have the the super serum but i kind of see him as the captain america because he is like that everyday man who like wants to protect everybody and that's fair you know so he he's my leader yeah yeah okay okay i mean he's working with a lot of animals right Dairy. I have I have a hedgehog. Oh, I, I was have gonna a... say. I thought you were talking the, the <laughs> no, greasers just, animals. I, I just find this. It's it's kind of silly because I have a hedgehog, a gorilla, and a fox on my team so far. <laughs> yeah. And so so here's here's my thoughts. A lot of animals. Stone Cold is gonna be like, God damn it. Uh... <laughs> well, here's my thoughts. Okay, here's her thought. Because I do need thinking. a magic person on my team right uh-huh. who is probably used to working with animals and who is who is very like like would just like empower everybody to feel like good and like be themselves and all of that i think and we talked about this mm-hmm. i think he has magic he definitely has some sort of magic that he can use even oh. though it's not like outright said he does like animals all right yeah but I want on my team, because I can't have Oda May, because <laughs> she was going to be my magic. <laughs> but this, I, I love this character, mm-hmm. and I think he works really well with this. But I'm going to get Big Gay Al. Mm-hmm. I need Big you Gay get Al. get the Big Gay Boat with it? Does the team travel around with... on the Big Gay Boat? <gasps> That's perfect. Yeah. That's actually very perfect. Big Al gives like, us his boat, and he has his briefcase or whatever the hell he like disappeared into. That's your Hall of Justice is the Big Gay Boat. <laughs> the Big Gay Boat. Okay. That's right. So Rachel selects Big Gay Al. He has some sort of magic. Power. He has some sort of magic, and I feel like he's just like hiding it. Yeah. But I want him because of that. He's like, no, 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 I got this. You know, <laughs> that's how I feel. That's what I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Okay, so uh, Rachel selecting Big Gay Al from South Park. The other South Park character that I was potentially considering was Jesus. I had him on my list too. Yes, as an element. That's why I was like, I don't know if I technically have a third. Like, he could be an element, but I don't know. We don't know how much, like, because Jesus is much more human in the South Park universe. He does know things. when you say things or, or He knows feel you. Things. He knows everyone. Right. But my question is kind of like, can Oda May can Oda May do that? Because Jesus, we don't know all the powers he has yet. He's a talk show. Right. And he has, the, like, those abilities. Yes why i kind of was i I was questioning that pick yes i agree with you i really don't know who i'm going to choose i have one from that one from that one from that one from that i also think big gay al would absolutely love dairy just saying (laughs) probably oh my ability look at at this (laughs) see not taking tails means that i have to like did i screw you up i'm like are we gonna have to recreate re See, we both definitely had different ideas about how we were building these teams. Yes. Now, Shawn Michaels, I don't think, is going to get along with Vader. Same with Bret Hart, honestly. I've got an idea. You're getting Bob. I Yes, both what? of them. <laughs> Sometimes collateral damage happens. Ooh, okay. And there could be situations where something could happen and... Bad things could happen to our team. Okay. So I need to have someone there that can be a little bit expendable. Ooh, interesting. So that if something goes wrong, he has the ability to come back somehow. Oh, all right. And just be there. Sure. So with my sixth round pick, I select Kenny McCormick. Oh my God, you actually did the (laughs) Kenny. Wow, that's a good. You know what? I like it because I feel like Kenny is also kind of intelligent. They make him out to like know well, things. Well, he's very too. streetwise. He's very he's streetwise. Like, he's a dirty little bastard. Dirty little bastard. Uh, but he dies constantly. So I think every battle he would probably die, but he would just come back. But he would come back. So 
and he's you could, almost the Deadpool, you could, but like the, like, yes. the, like the baby Deadpool. Of the yes, room. exactly. He gets sent on like the suicide missions. Yeah. We need you to go do this, but you're probably going to But he's going to be back We need anyway. you to go do this, but you're probably going to get shot. Yeah. So that's, I like that. That's, that's, that's a good there. idea. That's a really good one. That's that's a sleeper pick right there. Yeah. Th- think about that, folks. Think about that one. Okay, so then the, my seventh round pick, honestly, I'm, I'm looking at this. And Rachel, I don't know. All right, I'm going to tell you who I'm debating between. Okay. It's, it's two different ones. It's totally fine. Sorry to the office, because I could not come up with a I, reason I, to pick anyone from there. Same. Unless it's Pam, and she is the receptionist at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> oh, poor Pam. <laughs> Which is possible. It, now I just kind of want, like... She's, not, would she, the office actually be their like Hall of Justice? I don't know, but I. Oh wait, no, 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 because you have Superman. You just. I have Superman. Yeah, that's true. But Never like mind. now, I want like like she's miserable there, but she is the receptionist, and like Doctor Lewis <laughs> is always like constantly coming out of the office, like. <laughs> Pam. 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 <laughs> Where is Kent? <laughs> we need him back here. <laughs> you get him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> The little McCormick boy is dead again. We have to find where he woke back up. <laughs> I hate my job. All right, so my choice, I'm I'm debating between Dr. Ross and Lori. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. <laughs> so kind of want to go, I kind of want to go with Lori Strode for the fact that it's Lori fucking Strode. I, yeah, it's true. She is, it's she, like, she doesn't it's... stop either. You can't stop her. You can't stop her. You can't stop her. <laughs> But Dr. Ross has a lot of tactical ability. Mm-hmm. She knows how to fire a laser at a satellite. I'm really mad. I hope, for everybody, some reason. I hope everybody understands how mad I am right now that and Kevin has continuously chosen every she character that I want. She has unlimited funds every for some fucking reason. character that I want. You Kevin got to have tails. I'm, oh, because I get tails, but I don't get Monroe or Mae Brown or Ross. <laughs> I mean, I told you I'm looking at Lori, too. I'm just... Huh. It's Lori Strode, you know? Mm-hmm. But like you said, she's You know she's what? Not... I might have a choice if you take her. I don't care. I'm going to take Karen Ross. Okay. Fine. Take her. <laughs> she's, she's CIA. She's, she's... I know. That's why I wanted her. She gets she's a, tactical. She gets she's a smart, diamond laser gun. She gives a shit, you know? <laughs> that's why I wanted her. Amy knows her. I know she calls her ugly, but I, I figured they could get along. You know, it'd be fine. You're going to take Dr. Elliot, Dr. Peter, so that she has a handler? I was debating on it. Yeah. However. Okay. I, um, I also have another strong woman that I'm thinking about taking. Okay. Okay. See, yes, I feel like so you're I you're not could... taking JR. I love JR. My God. He's not gonna he's not gonna <laughs> announce the battles as they happen. You know how amazing that would be? You just you have, have like Stone your Cold, own person. Even though he doesn't do the Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold and go crazy yet. So I guess that's true. It's true. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were saying I it's okay. you off your path. It's all right. It's okay. To make a crack about Jim Ross. I am thinking about Peter Elliott. However, I would have preferred Karen Ross because sure. I do feel like Peter has p- potentially smart, book smart he is. He is not very He's bright. only there to unleash Amy. Yes. I just feel like he's not clever in many more ways except for I guess I have to go along with this so I don't die. Right. So I, I, I don't really want to take him. I feel like Amy would probably latch on to one of the other ones in my group very Gale, easily. Probably. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Gail would love her. Sure. I'm thinking of another strong woman who is smart. Sure. Who knows how to like sneak around and get the information she needs. So I'm going to pick Lois Lane. Oh, okay. I did not see that coming. Lois Lane. That's right. Mm -hmm. Lois Lane. Which one did she fulfill? Tactical? I'm going to put her under brains. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm putting her under brains. I think that works. Because I find her very intelligent. I feel like she can be kind of sneaky. She can get the the journalist. I feel like she She, she she figures figures stuff out. She knows where to go and where to get the information. Like, I feel like she's she's going to be my brains. I wanted Karen Ross, but I will take Lois. Okay. So that completes. Our seven, our superhero initiative has begun. Rachel as Nick Fury, 
went around the globe and said, I need you for, what would this team even be called? The Animal Initiative or something. <laughs> um, um, the Wild Initiative? Yeah, the Wild Cat. The Wild Cat. <laughs> I don't want to be the Wild Cats. Get out of here. No, don't even get that. Everybody's, now they're going to be like, you have to do High School Musical. Are they the, the Wild Cats? Aren't they that? the Wild Cats? I don't, are I don't know. I've never watched that because I'm in my mid thirties. <laughs> Who are the Wildcats then? I think they might be. I was doing it from that episode of The Simpsons where they have the football team, and they're playing the Wildcats, but they're also named the Wildcats. So he goes, oh. "Who are we? The Wildcats. Wild who are we gonna, be? gonna beat? The, the Wildcats. Wild yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. All right. So whatever the team name or whatever the superhero <sighs> name is, Rachel's gone around. She has gathered her her troops. Rachel, what is your superhero roster? I have... Based on volume two of Shelf Life. Right. I have Mm -hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Daryl Curtis, Amy Good Gorilla, Miles... I thought you gave her a last name. (laughs) Amy Good. Mm -hmm. Miles Tails Power, Big Gay Al, and Lois Lane. Excellent. Before you make your final selection as to who their arch nemesis is, are there any that you're disappointed you don't get to draft because you've completed your team? That there's like characters I wish yeah, I could get to draft? Yeah, if there are any characters that you kind of wish... That are still there? Yeah, that would have been like, I would have taken them if there was an eighth, or I would take them if like something happened to one of my members of the team. There were some bad guys that I was debating on taking okay until we decided that we might put the villain as like a a thing in this sure you know and and of course i i kind of take them as the brains of the groups yeah but now that would completely give me all of sonic the hedgehog because dr robotnik was on there sure and i kept thinking i'm like well would they could they work together would they work together i don't know probably not but if it was an option i would have done that Mm mm-hmm Maybe if I didn't also have Tails, I guess I could have picked, like, Dr. Robotnik as yeah. my second from there. Sure. And then I, I had thoughts on on getting Lex Luthor. Okay. Yeah, for brains, Brilliant money, man, yeah. money behind everything, a good place for us to, to hang out. Now I do have Big Gale's boat, but we could have had the sewers as well. <laughs> yes. Or the train station or whatever. Yeah. Subway station. Yeah. Th- those were a couple of the other ones that I was looking at. There's probably a few more, but those were probably like the bigger like brains guys yeah. that I was looking at. Yeah, we are in the final round. Well, what about you? Well, I'll, I'll after you make your pick, I'll do oh, my I have my no recap. Idea what the hell I'm gonna do for this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll, I'll I'll stall. I'll I'll do mine as well. Um, I mean, okay, so <sighs> well, let me let me just say while you're doing yeah, that, go ahead. As, as we go into this final round, we will post the board up as an article on our website there's probably a link to the website right below the in the description of this podcast if this is your first time finding shelf life i I never like saying these because i always feel like begging but make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a review or like or 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 look into our back catalog because there's share it with your friends share it with friends you know help grow the show we're just we like to have some fun with these things we we break down the subjects in great detail usually we just like to kind of walk through right what i what i think and it would doing... be fun to interact with uh, like all of you guys and and, well, and even more really, it's, it's kind of you know make sure that you're you're spreading the good word or and hopefully that we're entertaining you as you work out or, or maybe you found something new or go on a road to, trip to watch or poop or whatever you're doing as you uh, listen right. to the podcast. I was trying to go a nice way. This is poop. <laughs> Wait, what were you going to say? I was thinking, like, or you find something new that you watch and enjoy and, you know, like, yes, from, what are, from our list. Because, because we have a very diverse... We like to keep each volume of Shelf Life pretty diverse because oh, yeah. we don't like to keep things stale. Stay tuned for for volume three, Absolutely, by the way. because we like to kind of do a lot of... Div- uh, we don't like to do like, oh, we're doing, you know, a hundred episodes of The Simpsons in a row. Right. So we like to keep it keep it loose and, and we're trying to find new things ourselves too. Exactly. So it's going to be but yeah, a lot of different types of things, but we at least will try to make you understand those things or give you a greater appreciation or maybe you'll have fun in it and start to enjoy it so right. yeah for sure Do, doing a plug of the show there or maybe you absolutely hate every choice that we make but you just love to hate it continue listening or enjoy us which is probably not <laughs> the case but it could be you know 
Okay, Rachel, I stalled for you long enough. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the the final so, round. Okay, the final round. I have a question okay. about this well, final let me, round. Let me make sure. I, so the, this final round is is you're selecting the nemesis for your superhero team. Right. So what is your question? Does it have to be a villain from one of the shows? No. It could be. Okay, it could just be anything. It's, it could be anything. I'm probably going to pick a villain, but I'm going to... I feel like I have to pick I'm a villain, tell, otherwise it doesn't make any there's sense. There's very good villains. There's, like, three that I'm debating between, and, and honestly, like, four. And I only need you to not pick one of them. <laughs> what if we both had the same villain that we go up against? Well, because there's, like, one that's, like, cre more creative than the others, so I'm, like, kind of debating about doing that. It's not too much more creative, but it kind of is. I, I, will, I will tell you who's on my list in no particular order. This is not, like, the order that I have them in. I have Michael Myers, Dr. Robotnik, Lex Luthor. Obviously. Like, those are the obvious ones. Yeah. And then R.B. Travis, who is the My Diamonds, the Ooh. CEO from oh, Congo. Oh, that's, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Right? That's very interesting. Would your group go after him, is my thought. I guess with Karen with Ross. With Karen Ross, because it'd be like a vendetta for her. Yeah. And uh, Vince McMahon, although we don't really know enough about Vince McMahon, so it's not really Vince McMahon, but Psycho Sid. Okay. Carl Bruner from Ghost. Because <laughs> we'll have to I assume mean, obviously, that he... He, he uh, is the bad guy. Yeah. So I, li I like that thought now with R.B. Travis. That's a really good one. I'm not going to steal him on you. I would because I feel like he's the kind of guy who doesn't give a shit about the environment. And I feel like my group does care about the environment which is oh, i like to go hunting but he cares about the environment <laughs> that's true and so does sonic and tails because they're trying to save the animals from dr Robotnik. we have amy who who loves her home you know Very in much. the in the jungle mother mother africa i feel like daryl curtis would just of course just do that he would of course he would just give, give a shit because he, he has a heart big gay al loves the animals I feel like Lois Lane would also try to save, you know, the animals and, and whatnot. So I feel like they would all they would go after R.B. Travis mm. because he would just be like, I'm going to go, like, dig at the holes and oil's going mean, to go everywhere a, there and are, all that. There are a couple of villains that go after animals in this for sure. I, I have the absolute team that would just go after Dr. Robotnik. So, I mean, I could just go easy and say, yeah, that's the one I'm going to go with, mm. right? I could go after Ned and Jimbo because they just go around going... Where they just go, you know, oh, it's coming after me. And then they shoot it. Right. You know, and I find that wrong. And I think that they would also find that wrong. I also have the Grey Gorillas on here as a villain. Sure. Because they are just, like, killing people and other gorillas. But and I are, feel like... But they are isolated. But they are isolated. Yeah. So I feel like that wouldn't technically be necessary to yeah. have as, like, their main villain. I also had on here Dwight Schrute as a villain. Yeah. I think that's fair. Because he's a jerk? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I feel like he could also be a villain if we wanted to actually get all of the uh, the different things in on, on, our <laughs> on, our, on our list here. Well, I think, okay, so yeah, go ahead go ahead and, and see say who your na main nemesis is. Because I'm thinking, like, you have a main nemesis, and we won't draft them or talk about it, but I think that you could have, like, a couple of, like, sub-villains that would be on one side of the team, or, or, or like your team versus my team, you know what I mean? Where it's like they're not the arch nemesis, but like oh, they're yeah, still yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like the sinister still six. To deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like I just have to go with the obvious on this and say it's Doctor Robotnik. Okay. It just it it makes sense. Yeah. He, he takes animals. He makes them into robots. You know, like stop that. Let's let's go after him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So your pick is Doctor Doctor Robotnik. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Doctor Robotnik, and it makes me feel bad because I have the entire Hedgehog team now. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm think I'm thinking RB Travis, and that would give me three people from Congo. <laughs> How did you end up with everybody from Congo? I, don't know. I was gonna have everybody from Congo, <laughs> literally with AB too. So the only reason I'm thinking that is because I mean, I've got I love that idea. I, I've I think it's great. I have three villains that are all potentials because their respective heroes are all on my team. Mm -hmm. There's Lex Luthor, and I think that one's pretty obvious. Right. There's Michael Myers. Yes. Who is still formidable for this team, because even though I have Superman, and he should be easily taken down by Superman, yes. he's a sneaky 
thoughtful, resourceful slasher. Right. So Superman can't just go head first and like pound. It could be harder. And I have Loomis and Loomis is always trying to find him. That's so right. It's like, but I feel like that's almost like a, a, a second villain. It's like Sabretooth to Magneto. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. Loomis is always trying to get the team to go after Michael Myers. And sometimes (laughs) they do, but like they can't, they don't, they never catch him. He always gets away. Of course. I like the idea of Arby Travis because he is Lex Mm Luthor-like, but he's obsessed with stuff that Lex is obsessed with in kind of a different way. Get trying to get these resources and stuff like that. So it really, but for me, it's between Lex Luthor and Arby Travis. And for the sake of being more creative, I think I'm going to go with Arby Travis. Sure. Joe Don Baker. Joe Don Baker. Because I feel like, all right, as great. I mean, Joe Don Baker is great. Joe Don Baker as like your villain, like just screaming at the top of his lungs all the time about diamonds and shit. Yeah. I feel like he could have been your villain too. I feel because like he could have he, been. he mistakes the emeralds on Sonic's Island for, Ooh, for yes. the diamonds and yeah, goes after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I actually like all of the villains for both teams, I, to yeah. be perfectly frank. They really work like, for both of the teams. I want Lex Luthor to also be a villain on the team, and like him versus Arby Travis, mm-hmm. and like they're going at it, and then my superhero team like has to stop both of them at the same time. Oh, yeah, sure. Karen Ross, because Superman's Superman, he's going to do whatever is right. Karen Ross is like hell bent on stopping R.B. Travis. Oh, absolutely. Whose empire continues to grow. At the same time, Dr. Loomis is trying to stop Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. And you've got Superman trying to do what's right. And he knows Lex Luthor is a bigger threat. He's got him in jail. Right. But he knows he's got to keep him there. Right. Right. So that's my thoughts on the villains. Can I just say one thing sure. before I like forget about it? With the very street smart people on my team... Now, this would have been my creative one, but I feel like it's not the super villain and he would be like the the side villain that they'd have to go after because they were called into this to to stop him Mm -hmm. would be Carl Bruner. Okay. Doing uh, the embezzlement for the mob and stuff. Right. Yeah. And I feel like my my team would be like there to stop them and like, you know, all of my street smart people would be like, we got to we got to go after this guy to stop him. And I do think that I could see them actually going. I could see them going after any of them, too, Mm -hmm. because I could even see them going after Lex Luthor for like the same idea. Right. You know, they got to stop this guy. He's he's trying to take over and we have to like put him in his place. Right. I like yours as RB Travis. I think that's really good. I feel like I went the easy route and. (laughs) It's kind of boring. But... Well, I mean, we both went with like the ones we have multiple people from the thing on, but I just see RB Travis as like an alternate Lex Luthor. Sure. As opposed to just picking Lex Luthor, which is like yeah. the easy easy route. But I still like the idea of like both of them being villains for my, my right. heroes. I could also kind of see like Dr. Robotnik being like the top tier and then he like hires the other ones as yes. like his his underlings I, like carl would definitely work would for, be an underling for, for, for robotnik a hundred percent hundred percent i could also see rb travis and robotnik being like oh uh, in cahoots yeah in cahoots yeah yeah but uh, i'm sorry go ahead and let us know now your full let, team let me recap of my team that's here. gonna go after rb travis uh superman oda may brown captain monroe kelly vader dr samuel loomis kenny mccormick and Dr. Karen Ross. I've got two doctors on this team. you got two doctors. And, two. Uh, and of course, Vader has his doctorate as well. Oh, yeah. The ass kicking and name taking. <laughs> he doesn't actually say that. I just like the idea. It sounds like he would. It sounds like a wrestling It's Vader thing. time. Yeah. yeah. So those are the teams that we have after all is said and done. The time has expired. I'm exhausted. I've got the names all crossed off the list. I've got them circled and, and marked down. So folks at home, you know what to do. Make us fake super hero. I want to see that team poster. Thank you. Teams. And let us know who do you think has the better team. Yes. And who would be on your team? Yeah. Who would you have drafted that we didn't do draft? Do a draft with your friends. I'd let like us to know, know what that. you guys end up getting. Or if you, or if you spin the wheel, pick a different scenario. Absolutely. See what you want to do. It's it's drafting time. And use these characters. It's and the see best what time of the year. It's my favorite time of the year. I love fantasy football drafting. I love drafting. That's why we're doing this. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun, I think. We'll, of course, be doing this again next year. So I think that's it. I think that's the end of our fantasy football draft. That concludes the fantasy draft. Yay. Yay. So with that being said, volume two is in the books. We are completed it now yes. that we've done the fantasy draft I like draft how this like, seals it. Yeah. Volume three 
of shelf life get ready stay tuned oh get ready it will be coming to you in the fall of this year if you're listening to this when this episode drops otherwise if you're if you're not volume three is out there. Enjoy. go find it it's an interesting looking volume we are in the middle of recording it oh get get excited uh, it's gonna be different oh it's different so we're going to space a couple of times we're gonna in blow it. your mind with this one <laughs> some time travel <laughs> bears a lot of people losing their minds and stuff yeah that's what i'm saying so yeah. we'll enjoy it yes so at the end here we have concluded it we have put the stamp of approval here on this little not little probably but bonus episode of shelf life with that being said i am kevin and i'm rachel and this has been the shelf life fantasy draft went a little bit spin man there i like it <laughs>